Hello, everyone, and welcome to our third webinar in our Eco Champions Live webinar series. Um, we started this Eco Champions community to bring together energy, sustainability, finance, and leadership teams who are working together around the common goal of decarbonization. And we come together to share ideas, to challenge the status quo, and to push forward together in uh, building a more sustainable world. My name is Amber Artrip, and I am the Vice President of Marketing at Energy Cap. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Energy Cap, we are an energy and sustainability ERP that allows you to effectively track your energy usage and cost data in a single platform. Um, we're presenting today's webinar, and I wanted to just highlight a few housekeeping items before we get started. This webinar is going to be a little bit more short form. We're going to try to get it done in 20 minutes. Um, so hopefully we can get to all of our questions. If you have any questions for Lisa, who is our eco champion today, you can enter those in um, using the Q&A button at the bottom of your Zoom panel. This webinar is being recorded and it will be available on energycap.com within 24 hours. We will also send out a copy of the recording to everyone who registered. Um, now, without further delay, I'd like to welcome Lisa Roberts to our Eco Champions webinar series. Welcome, Lisa. Hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> nice to meet you. Lisa serves as the Manager of Engineering Administration at Unifirst, and we are so glad to have you joining us today. Why don't you tell everyone a little bit about yourself, um, how you got involved in this space, and your role at Unifirst? Uh, well, Unifirst, in case uh, no one really knows who we are, we are the one of the largest industrial laundries in the world. And I started off at Unifirst 28 years ago uh, in, the, in an executive secretarial role. And what ended up happening was our AP department at the time uh, went from a, a DOS-based background to an SAP program, and they couldn't really keep up with the payments of utility bills, and were incurring a lot of late fees. So uh, I kind of took that on and just got the payments set up, and it just kind of went from there into, okay, what more can you do? Uh, currently at Unifirst, I still handle all of the energy management and sustainability. Uh, we have a new energy optimization team that I'm a part of, and we have solar projects going on. And uh, above and beyond that, I handle capital expenditures of over $45 million a year, $145 million a year, possibly. And, um, you know, I, I add other things, real estate, I mean, you name it, there's other things that I'm involved in that energy all ties into in some way. So um, that's why I'm here today, I guess, to just talk about the energy piece. I always do that. I'm always on mute talking. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you've been a customer of Energy Caps for a long time. So why don't you tell us a little bit about how technology has helped you over the years, you know, accomplish your goals and, and hit your targets? Oh, gosh, when we started tracking energy, it was an Excel spreadsheet. And that's very difficult to manage your energy in Excel alone. So getting Energy Cap which I was just saying to Amber at the time, I'm not that old, but it was good steward software at the time. Uh, so even before it had the name of Energy Cap, I was involved with them. And uh, it really was a great platform for me to now enter all my bills into and break them down. It was great to have, it has templates in there. So I don't have to look for information. It just, you know, I know what kind of template that I need. I can plug in the numbers and it calculates everything for me. And it, it's really been a game changer in trying to identify late fees and trying to identify usage discrepancies and cost discrepancies and meter issues, which we have a lot of. And we have over 300 buildings. So any one of those at any time could have anything from a meter issue for electricity from a running toilet that's accumulating a high usage of water. That's how we identify all those things. And this platform has helped me do that. Being able to see, you know, previous bills and, you know, over in the corner and all of it has really been great. So I could never get that from Excel, which is what I was using before. So um, that's how it's really helped me. And now with solar, uh, we're now getting into the 
um, what we call measurement verification, but your program, I believe it's uh, it's in another module. Cost the avoidance. Getting, cost avoidance, thank you. And I'm just starting to learn that piece of it now, but that's gonna be huge in helping me track those solar projects that we're putting in and starting to see the benefits of that. Cause I'm working on my fourth one now, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. That's really the next level, right? Leveling up. It, it really is. We can we can tell you how much utilities, how much energy, I shouldn't say utilities, energy we are using per 100,000 pounds of garments processed. And that's important to us because we have different types of garments that we launder. And so being able to identify how much energy we're using to do that is very helpful. It's very powerful. It's awesome. Yes. Um. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit about what excites you the most about what's happening in our industry? What, what gets you fired up when it comes to energy and sustainability and where we're headed? Uh, seeing cost reduction, that would excite me. Our economy right now is not helping in that area. But <laughs> so what's not exciting is seeing all my efforts not, you know, being made in vain because there's nothing going down at the moment. But um, it just it's exciting to me to see the projects that we're putting in. Uh, now that, you know, now that we started doing solar, they want to know what else can we do? Uh, you know, the energy optimization team that we've now created. Uh, now our goal is to go in and start looking at the mechanics of our equipment and how can we better, you know, leaks and steam traps or um, better manage our boiler systems and, you know, other avenues such as that, which we just started this team. So there's many more things that I think we haven't even touched on, but it's starting to open eyes for people that, wow, energy is more than just the utility bill that comes even to your house. It's more than that, you know, and I've known it for years because it's been 20 something years I've been looking at these things, but getting upper management to finally let us do some of these initiatives and be a little risky is, I think that's exciting. That's great. So it sounds like you're moving into some more sustainability projects. Is that coming from upper management? Is, is the initiative being driven from the top? Uh, initially, it was not. Initially, it was something we we wanted to explore as an engineering team. Uh, but once they saw, um, you know, they kind of got excited, I think, through the first solar installation. And now I'm seeing, a, you know, a, a new a new look at it, you know. Uh, having a younger generation of people doesn't help, you know. I mean, it does help. Uh, you know, sometimes um, our, our older regime was a little bit more reluctant to enter into some of these newer technologies. So, um, you know, that's been great as well, having having a, a younger management team or, a, you know, some new people in there. So, uh, but I, I'm, I'm excited to see where it goes. I don't know that we'll ever get into wind. Um, I, I don't know enough about it, but uh, I'm happy with the solar and the, uh, you know, energy uh, optimization team. I'm excited to see where that goes. So. That's great. Yeah. Um, well, Lisa, I know you're a very busy woman and I promise to keep this short and sweet and fun. Uh, because you've got a lot of work to get back to, to going and, and doing. So we'll go ahead and, and wrap this up pretty quickly. Um, the last question I have for you is um, what advice would you give to others in the space who are looking to maybe accomplish what you've accomplished? Oh boy. Um, you know, I have, well, I would say definitely organizing the data you have in front of you. Regardless of whether you're going to populate that information to another system like I do to track um, our energy usage for our production facilities, even if you're just going to use it within Energy Cap itself, the more you can break down a bill, the more information you're going to get from it, and the more the better chance you have of finding errors. And that's really caught. We, we've had huge savings just in billing errors alone. And so even if you could accomplish that first, that's huge. Uh, when I took this on, the amount of money we were paying in late fees, and I found I found uh, properties we were paying utility bills on we hadn't been in in years mm -hmm. because no one shut the utilities off. So just those things alone. So I would say my first thing, organize your data, break it down as much as you possibly can, verify all your information, and then start from there and watch it grow. And don't be afraid to try to branch out and try something new or push it with upper management. You know, it took me 20 years, but other companies might not take me that long. <laughs> yeah. And I know you've attended a ton of our events, our catalyst events, our regional training yes. conferences. So um, I'd love to get your input on what it's like attending those events and collaborating with 
with like-minded individuals and other companies and organizations who are using technology in similar ways. I have not, I think I've missed one catalyst since uh, uh, hooking up with Good Steward Sasha Energy Cap in 2007, I think it was. And I haven't missed one. And every time I go, I learn something new. There's a new area I focus on. And the people that I meet from other companies, um, and, and even I can remember this one time I went, there was an Olympic swimmer, I think I met. Um, I have a picture with this person. I think he was an Olympic swimmer, but he was an Olympian of some kind. Uh, so, you know, I just meet all different kinds of people. And I say, if you can go to Catalyst, do it every single year, because I enjoy going because I definitely get something out of it every single time. So um, I think that that's also an important piece that if you have energy cap, take advantage of those training sessions because other companies out there I've explored do not offer that. And mm. that's one thing that makes me shy away because I, it's, it's nice to have that collaboration, your breakout sessions. If I'm struggling with something, being able to sit one-on-one -on -one with a, at a breakout session is so helpful. And I've used those over the years several times. So you know, that's my, that's my spin on the catalyst piece because I really enjoy them. I enjoy going and seeing yeah. all of you. We yeah. enjoy having you. We had so much fun in Orlando at our, they are fun. Party. They are really fun. Aside from being educational and, you know, helps with my business, uh, above and beyond that, they're fun. They're I fun. Agree. It's fun to meet other people from the other companies that are using it. And I'll say, you know, I learned way back. There was a company, I'm forgetting their name now. Um, but they used, they had you guys uploading their, their bills, I think by EDI mm -hmm. or they were doing something that I hadn't done before. And I'm still not there yet. We're looking at bill capture now, which is my next step. And so that's going to be exciting too. And, um, and so, but they were doing something with the organization of the bills. They were stamping the bills. That's what it was. They were stamping the bills and they had a whole organization process and they really helped me because that was in the very beginning. And they helped me sit down and think, okay, how do I want to, how do I want to handle this? And how do I know which bills have been reviewed and which ones haven't? And they helped me lay that out. And it was another company. It wasn't SUNY. It was a, it was a different kind of company than that, but I know a lot of the people from SUNY, so. Yeah. Well, that's exactly why we created this eco champions community, because every time I talk to a customer, I learn something new. And then when we get customers together, they all learn something new and they learn from each other. So we built this community for that reason. Catalyst is a part of this community. Our regional training conferences are part of this eco champions community. And even these quick little webinar sessions that we do with folks like you, Lisa, you know, it's just an opportunity to share ideas that maybe someone else could find valuable at their organization. Right. So yeah, it's great. Especially Thank if you're just starting out. I mean, it's, it can be overwhelming. I remember I was overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know where to start. So it was very helpful. And over time, every time it was a new something, like I said, something new I learned to, okay, I went back, I took that back to the office and said, Hey, we can do this. I didn't realize we could do this. Let's test it out. <laughs> Absolutely. It's what it's all about. Sharing best practices, trying new things, innovating, yes. pushing the limits, Agreed. right? For towards the common goal. Mm, Agree. Money, saving energy. So that's um, right. Right. Great. Any any final words, Lisa, for, for the folks on the line? No, any just good luck. I mean, it's it's exciting to uh you know, for those that haven't used energy cap or might be new or thinking about using energy cap, it's it's exciting to enter into something new and, um, you know, enjoy it. You know, um, don't be afraid to challenge a little bit. So use the program. It. It's, it's awesome. Well, great. Well, I promise it would be short and sweet and fun. Hopefully I, I came through with my promise for you, Lisa. I know you've got a lot yes, of work. Thank to you. Do. Thank you. I appreciate you guys um, accommodating my schedule. <laughs> yes. Um, so Thank you for everyone who came on um, and joined us for the live session. Like, as I mentioned, this will be recorded. We'll be sending out a copy of the recording shortly. Um, if you, you know, have any questions, feel free to follow up, but um, that's it for today. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you for everyone on the call. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you, Amber. Bye, Thank everyone. Lisa, bye.